from your personal perspective, how are you really seeing the data and analytics space right now? And what are some of the key trends that are really shaping how we're seeing today? Okay, so I suppose the thing we see today with all the enterprises that we're speaking to, all the big companies, there's one big thing is companies want to have access to their data and make full use of it. As you can see, even at the CDAO event today, everyone is promoting having access to data faster, understanding the data and just like leverage this for, for better inside building new products, etc. Uh, in reality, there's a big challenge in doing this. Uh, why? Because companies either don't know where the data is or where they have access to it and know where it is. They just don't know what it means. So this is, this is the big thing that we see and really across industry. How can leaders really look to overcome some of those data access challenges and what would be like the, the real business level benefits of doing so? So the benefits of it, so think of companies like of like multi, multiple thousands of employees and like generating like a lot and a lot of data. If you don't attach a meaning to that data, it's just technical raw data, which means that only te technical teams will have access to, the, access to it and actually understand it. So if you don't have that business attachment, that business meaning, that business context, you basically can't really use it. Looking forward to 2025 and beyond, what are some of the key predictions that you have for how all of this new technology will really uh, manifest itself in the market? Yeah, it's interesting. So, I mean, as you can see, generative AI is in the mouth of everyone. It's also at the board of directors of pretty much all companies we're talking to. Um, and to have a very successful generative AI strategy, which means in the next, in the next two to five years, you will need to understand that data. Otherwise you will go, you will have people asking questions and answers coming up with pure hallucinations and stuff that doesn't really make sense. So that's the big thing. The big thing would be think about generative AI or think about other things, but think about the thing you have to do before uh, in terms of like cleaning that data, understanding it, applying quality, etc. And final question for you today, obviously we are here at CDAO UK uh, this morning in London. How are you really finding the event and what are you excited to talk to some of the attendees about here today? I like the event because it's a very intimate format. Uh, I think it's about a couple of hundred uh, attendees. So it's very easy to chat to people. We, uh, we have the ability to kind of like book uh, some time with those people before, uh, which is really good compared to like the big events, which, which we attend too, but for a different purpose. Um, and I'm looking forward to meeting those people. I'm looking forward to the, to the talks because we've got some people that have very senior position in a big enterprises. So they kind of like give us an understanding of what the use cases are, what they see in the future, which kind of allows us as well to position where we're going with our product.